we need to talk about fire safety in your new student roost home. If you have any questions about this video or the fire safety measures in your building, please just chat with your property team. We know you'll be excited to arrive at your roost and there's so much to think about, but it's a good idea to familiarise yourself with the nearest fire exits to your flat and where the fire assembly point is. There'll be fire exit signs throughout the building. There'll also be details on your portal about the evacuation and fire alarm process. You can also speak to your property team for more information. If you're likely to need any assistance in an evacuation, make sure you tell the team in your property as soon as possible. They will create a personal emergency evacuation plan for you. It's everyone's duty to report a fire. If you spot signs of a fire, make sure you are safe and call 999. Then raise the alarm at one of the alarm points or by alerting a student roost team member. If you hear the fire alarm, leave the building safely and calmly via your nearest fire exit. Do not use the lifts, take the stairs if you can and proceed to the nearest fire exit using the quickest, safest route and then onto the fire assembly point. You can find out where this is by looking at the fire action notice next to the final exits. Do not stop to collect any of your belongings or wait for others. Close your flat door if it is safe to do so. All doors in our properties are fire resistant and help stop the fire from spreading. Do not re-enter the building until you've been told that it is safe to do so, either by the emergency services or your property team. We're going to take you through some top tips on fire prevention. Did you know that most kitchen fires start when cooking is left unattended? While you're cooking, it's best not to leave the kitchen or your studio flat, but if you absolutely have to, move all flammable objects like tea towels, cardboard packaging or plastic as far away from the cooker as possible. Always switch on the extractor hood when cooking. Food dropped in the oven, old grease and oil can ignite quickly. So check your toaster, grill pan or hob each time before cooking and keep your cooking area and appliances clean. Switch them off after you've finished using them. Chip pans and deep fat fryers are not allowed in any student roost flats. If you're bringing equipment with an international plug like a rice cooker or mixer, please make sure it has the correct UK adapter before using. You can speak to your property team for advice. You'll find your fire blanket in your kitchen area. It comes with instructions on how to use it. Only use it if you feel comfortable to do so. Do not remove the fire blanket. If you notice yours is missing, chat to your property team as soon as possible so they can replace it. You'll have a heater in your room and in the kitchen living area. It's important you don't cover these heaters with anything, like clothes or towels. Personal heaters aren't allowed, but you can speak to your property team for help with the heating in your flat. Don't leave anything in the corridor that could get in your way, like shoes or bikes, in case you needed to leave in the event of a fire. Please always keep doors closed, especially the one to the kitchen, so fire and smoke doesn't spread. If any doors are damaged, inform a member of the property team as soon as possible. Do not cover or tamper with the smoke detectors. They keep everyone in the building safe and you could face a charge if you cover or remove one. Extension leads and adapters are useful if you use them correctly, but non-UK adapters and plugs can cause fires if not pat tested. Don't overload plug sockets with appliances and extensions. It's best to use one plug in one socket and not multiple electrical appliances. Smoking's not permitted anywhere in the building. Vapes are also not allowed because the batteries and heating elements can cause fires. Your property will have a designated smoking area outside. Also, while they smell nice, candles aren't permitted in flats and we will need to remove them if found. Instead, try reed diffusers. When showering, remember to keep your shower door closed as excess steam can set off the heat detector and fire alarm, causing false alarms. So to summarise, note the evacuation procedure in your building and follow it even if you think it might be a drill or a false alarm. Raise the alarm if you spot a fire and never cover the smoke alarms in your flat. Take care while cooking. Never leave cooking unattended. Don't use chip pans or deep fat fryers and move anything flammable well away from your oven and hob. Take care with electrical appliances, especially those with non-UK plugs or adapters. Candles and smoking aren't allowed anywhere in your property. And that's that. Fire safety completed. Remember, you can view this information at any time on your portal. 
and your property team is available to speak to 24-7 if you have any questions or issues on fire safety. Thanks for watching and listening.